Hey guys, so today we're going to be showing how to level up your action button, specifically making it dynamic based on what focus mode you're in. So let's get started here, make a new shortcut, and let's call it action button focus. And let's put a little test there so we know that, so I can differentiate between different ones. Now the key little function we're using here is get current focus. Now you need to be running either iOS 16.1 and also watchOS 9.1 in order to utilize this particular function. So we're going to click on current focus after getting it, putting in an if statement, change it to name, and then let's say we've got a focus mode called driving, and that will then get the current focus and then compare it to the name of it and check if it's driving, we'll do another one here. Get that if current focus change at the name again, and we'll compare it to let's say another focus type. In this case, let's do fitness. Let's say it's a focus type for when you're at gym or working out from home. Now let's actually input the functionality. So within the if statement, we'll do run, and for driving, let's say. What should we do? Let's say play my station. So in this case, it'll play music. I also have a variation of this, which does a Shazam. Perhaps if I hear something on the radio station, which I want to uh, Shazam and identify and save to my Apple Music library. Now let's get our actual behavior, or in this case, our what shortcut we're going to run in the event of the focus mode being fitness. Uh, let's add in both a workout and also playing my radio station so I can output right to my AirPods. Yeah, we can start, let's make it an outdoor run. And we'll also make a shortcut catch all. This is in the event where there isn't a focus mode selected, it's just in general, or in this case, if it were, let's say, do not disturb because that's no condition for that. So it'll just fall on the catch all and we'll log water because it's good to keep an eye on how much water we're drinking. Just showing you one more time how it's structured, just so you can duplicate it or replicate it rather, if you'd like. All right, so just a little demonstration of how, a simulation, if you will, of how it's going to work in real time. Uh, so basically, if we're just doing the action button as it is now with no focus modes, we're expecting it to log water as I showed in my programming. Yeah, and that's exactly what it does. Now let's just simulate a different focus mode. In this case, let's make it driving. And for driving, we expect it to basically Shazam because that's what I program in this particular shortcut. And that's exactly what it does. Now let's try a different focus mode like fitness where I expect it to basically start a skipping workout for two minutes. Yeah, that's what it's doing. And let's just show another one work where I've got a program based on my location to activate work. And it just brings up a handy little action menu. So I can do various things there. And that's basically how you level up your action button on the Apple Watch Ultra.